This graph shows the changing value of the minimum wage. It plots that value in real dollars, adjusting for inflation. So the older values are plotted as their current, in this case 2012, equivalents. The federal minimum was established in 1938, when the Fair Labor Standards Act set a minimum for covered workers at 25 cents an hour, about $4 in today's currency. The spikes on the graph represent legislated increases in the federal minimum. After in each increase, the line dips as the real value of the minimum is eroded by inflation. The price of goods and services increases, but the wage remains stagnant. As we can see, legislated increases between the 1940s and the late 1960s both recovered inflationary losses and raised the real value of the minimum, which grew almost threefold, peaking at over $10 an hour in 1968. But six years elapsed before the next increase, during which time the real minimum fell back to under $8. A series of increases in the 70s barely kept pace with the era's double-digit inflation, and another long gap between increases, between 80 and 90, brought the real value of the minimum down near $5 an hour. Some of this loss has been recovered in the increases of recent years, culminating in the bump to 725 in July 2009. But the real value of the minimum is still substantially below its peak of the late 1960s, and substantially below the level at which a full-time worker could even think about supporting themselves or their family.